Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, as we continue on our quest for the Fourier transform. Here's where we left off in our last section. We have the Fourier series in terms of a summation of exponentials. Originally we had a0 over 2 plus a sum where a n's were with cosines and b n's were with sines and these have all been replaced with a summation of exponentials with coefficients c sub n and these are given by this integral on the right. Notice that here the interval has been expanded from our original minus pi to plus pi to now minus l to plus l. In this section our job is to replace this summation with a more generalization an integral making this n continuous and then upgrading this equation here to reflect that change. We start by noting that n as an integer advances by 1 so delta n is 1 so I multiply by 1 in the form of delta n on the right hand side. Then I notice that it would be nice if this exponential here n pi over l could be one variable so I'm going to pick k which is proportional to n to be the variable that I'm going to promote to a continuous variable. So here delta k is pi over l delta n and delta n is equal to l delta k divided by pi. My intent is to replace this delta n with this and you kind of can see why I need a delta n here because I want to go with an integral and a dn so I'm kind of preparing the way for the transition to a continuous variable but I'm going to prefer to do it with the delta k so here delta n equals 1 this arrangement will equal 1 and I'm going to insert the delta n up in here in this form and then k n pi over l up in here and what about the c sub n well I'm going to define L, which is going to come about from here, this delta n, there will be an L here. I'm going to take that L with the C sub n and define that as going to a function C of the continuous variable k. So let's do it and see what we get. Well, we'll do it step by step. The middle one first, the middle piece first. Here I have n pi over L which is k. So the middle piece is e to the i k x. Over here I have a delta n. That's going to be l over pi delta k. Delta k is going to be replaced by dk. And pi will be out here in front. And this l, when coupled with the c n, I'm going to promote that to my function c of the continuous variable k. So no more n's, we have k's, and doing that I have the final result. I like to think of this as having three steps because in physics and mathematics we do this kind of thing from time to time where we go from a sum to a promotion to a continuous integral. Well, you take the delta, whatever you have here, and make it a d so you have like delta, like k becomes dk. You then rip off the n, you see, and you're going to have here a continuous uh, variable. So you have a function of the variable instead of the indexing. And finally, you change the summation sign into a snake. My affectionate term for the integral sign. Well, what about the other equation here that goes with it? Well, this other equation that goes with that, we are going to replace piece by piece here. n pi over l is k. 
dx stays the same and f of x stays the same but l here when coupled with the c sub n that will be promoted to our function c of the continuous variable k so that's the result and our summary and conclusion can be seen with these two nice equations our goal has been achieved we have replaced the summation the Fourier series with now some kind of Fourier integral and a continuous variable k and this here these two equations you are very close to the Fourier transform what we have to do next is aim for infinity in expanding our interval and then we'll arrive at the Fourier transform we'll do that in our next section